everybody. It's the Beastly Gamer here. Um, I'm, I'm sitting in my little comfortable little nook. This is where I like to chill at in the morning. And when I get up, I come in and look at the news and find out what's going on. And here I am sharing some of you. I figured this would be worth talking about. Uh, I want to talk about the most expensive, the most expensive console of all time, time. No, I'm just kidding. The Xbox One is not the most expensive console of all time. If you're 18 years old or 20, you might believe that. But it's definitely not. Um, there's something called the Neo Geo back in the prehistoric days that was extremely expensive for the time. And Panasonic 3DO was extremely expensive for the time. I remember when I saw pictures of Road Rash for the 3DO. I was like, oh man, I gotta have this thing. And then when I saw the price, I said, fuck, I'll never have this thing. But uh, the Xbox One had, you know, a pretty rough year as far as pricing goes. And they've undergone some price drops and they got a really awesome price drop coming for the holiday season this year. And, uh... The question is, is this price drop for the holiday enough to turn the tide? No, it's not. Let's just be honest. But it is enough to give them a better holiday than the PS4. Just put that simply. I'm just putting that out there. They probably will outsell the PS4 during the holiday season with the promotion that they have going on now. Okay. If you guys see my daughter in the back, don't worry. She's okay. She's not being killed. Uh, this article is on GameSpot.com. After Xbox One price drop, will Microsoft rule holiday sales? The Xbox One just got a $50 price drop through the end of the year. Even after getting outsold by the PS4 in the US every month this year, will it be enough to put Microsoft's console on top? I don't know. But for the immediate, yes, I think that this definitely will be. Price cut could lead to a happy holiday for Xbox One. Microsoft's Xbox One price drop news today is a big deal and could be a turning point for the system that's lagged behind the PS4 for over a year now. For a year now, I'm sorry. The $50 price drop applies to all Xbox One systems, bringing the entry-level console down to $350. That's a healthy $50 less than the PS4. In November 2013, you needed to pay $500 for an Xbox One, and no pack-in games were available, at least not in the U.S. In November 2014, you'll be able to get an Xbox One and your choice of a high-profile game, Sunset Overdrive, Call of Duty, or uh, Assassin's Creed, starting at $350. That's quite a compelling value. Pricing is always important, but it's heightened during the holiday shopping period, and Microsoft is smart to launch this promotion so early in November. The price drop goes into effect the week of the historical Xbox-led Call of Duty series debut, and just one week before Halo Master Chief Collection arrives. If any Xbox 360 or PS3 or Wii owner was on the fence about upgrading to an Xbox One, this price drop could and should make all the difference in swaying their decision. I totally agree. 100% agree with this. Um, I, I think that it would be really hard for PlayStation to outsell them during the holiday season with this kind of promotion. I don't know if Sony is planning some kind of holiday promotion. Probably are. They're probably doing some kind of crazy Black Friday thing. They're probably trying to, you know, make some kind of bundle because the Xbox One bundles are on sale for 350. You get a white Xbox One with Sunset Overdrive for 350 bucks. PS4 is going to be 400 without a game. So Sony is going to try to do something. To combat this, uh, I'm sure, but what they do, who knows? But I'm really excited about it. I am. Are you excited about it? Uh, I'm going to definitely be getting uh, probably Sunset Overdrive, and I don't think I want Call of Duty on my Xbox One. Um, some of my buddies have it, and even though the Xbox One is the lead console for Call of Duty, the game plays better on the PS4. And why would I buy it on the Xbox One when I can have a better version on my PS4? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So. Maybe I'm crazy. You guys let me know. But Sunset Overdrive is a game that I want on my Xbox One. And that's something I can't get on the PS4. So why not just get the white Xbox One with Sunset Overdrive and just wait an extra month for my Call of Duty stuff. To me, that makes the most sense. Assassin's Creed can kiss my ass. I do not like that game. And that's just the way it is. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Will the holiday season be ruled by Microsoft this year? Is Microsoft going to kick Sony's ass for this next month or two? Let me know in the comment section. Please support my channel. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It means the world to me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.